Hey, what's up, YouTubers? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to solve this three ring, three horseshoe puzzle. I just got this uh, not too long ago. And when I first got it, I was looking at it and I said to myself, there's no way that I'm solving this thing. I mean, just looking at it, just look, you know, super complex. So I played with it for a little while and then I put it off to the side and, you know, just left it alone. And then I picked it up again. I started playing with it, still couldn't solve it. So I went on YouTube to see if there was any videos that showed you how to solve this thing. And I came across one video. And in that particular video, the guy that explained how to solve this, um, he basically showed you a method where you would isolate one of the uh, horseshoes and the ring by holding it and slipping the ring off the other horseshoe. But it somehow didn't make sense and I never finished the video. I generally, um, if I can't solve a puzzle, I'll turn to YouTube and, you know, just try to get an idea of what I, need to be doing in order to uh, solve a puzzle. I don't like to watch the whole thing and, you know, just cheat my way through it. But anyways, um, like I said, um, I watched this video and I still couldn't figure it out. So I played with it a little bit more afterwards and I came up with a solution which worked at the time. And since then I've been trying to do it again and that solution hasn't worked. So, I've been trying to get this down to a science so that I can exactly explain it to you in the video. So before I show you this, if you are familiar with this one here, solving it is uh, the same exact concept if you know the easy way of solving this. So the easy way to solve the two horseshoe puzzle is basically by turning the rings 90 degree angle to each other and you wanna slip the ring right through this gap that you see here. So by doing that, you're slipping the ring through both of the horseshoes at the same time, and then the ring comes right off. So I just got a phone call in the middle of my recording. So back to the uh, three ring, three horseshoe puzzle. So you're going to wanna start off holding this in the uh, upright position and you're going to take either one of these because I'm right-handed I'm going to grab this one and put it this way so the ring that you're going to be focusing on is this ring right here the top ring don't worry about this ring and don't worry about that ring so it might help if this is up here already so put that up like that And you want to get this ring into that open gap that you saw me just push it into. So push it into that open gap and start bringing it upwards. And generally it should just slide right over like that. If it doesn't slide right over, it's because this ring here is on the outside of this shoe and it will actually stop you from being to stop you from being able to bring this up and over. So if you have that issue where this doesn't go up and over, take this ring and flip it on the inside and then you go up and over. So now that ring is off. Same concept with the next ring. 45, bring the ring through this gap here, up and over. This should be easier this time. Last ring, same concept, 45 or 90 degree angle. Bring the ring through here so that it's going through both of the horseshoes. And then up and over. And there you have it. To put the rings back on the horseshoe, that's much easier to do. It's just doing this bringing it up and over and it's on.
Usually the first two rings are the easiest to put on. The last one might have a little bit of trouble, but it usually goes on fairly easy at times. Up and over, there it is. So if you like the video, hit the like button. You don't have to subscribe because I just do random videos from time to time. But if you want to subscribe, that's up to you.